congratulations on the win. 96 points, I think that's the season high. Millie, 8 for 8, 16 points. Um, Millie, I guess I'll start with you. So what, were you in, a, in, a, in the zone? How, how did you feel? <laughs> um, well, the last two games, I think I've really struggled um, offensively. So going into this game, um, being an offensive threat was one of my goals. Um, and also, they were pretty undersized, so we were able to get the ball inside a bit more and get some good looks, and my teammates found me, so yeah. Did any, was any part of it just the fact that I mean, the teammates had some foul trouble in the second quarter? Mm -hmm. Did you feel like you kind of needed to do some scoring there? Right. Um, yeah, I think um, we say like FEO, like we're all for each other. Um, so um, yeah, we we spread out evenly, and I think the, we're so deep on the bench that when we do get in foul trouble, that's, it's so easy for somebody else to step up. And um, yeah, I think some of the girls did a really great job today coming off the bench. Yeah, Coach, your thoughts on just kind of your bench, and especially Jaleesa with 23, Alexis mm -hmm. with a couple, three, three threes? Yeah, um, I think that's just the beauty of our team is we're really deep. Um, Jaleesa's been start, starting all year and, and kind of is coming off the bench as of late, but it hasn't slowed her down. Just her, She's just a positive um, mentality and is just ready to go, and, and so she's defending you know, their, their toughest guards and um, has the ability to score for us. So um, I think that you know, our depth is, is definitely one of our keys, and um, we really needed it tonight with all the foul trouble we were in. Um, what did you kind of think about the first half, kind of back and forth the whole time, and then um, double zero was kind of <clears throat> everything she threw up. But what was kind of your message there towards the end uh, of the first half and at halftime to really get you guys going? Um, you know, tip your hat to them. They did a nice job of knocking down shots and they're super fast. And so, um, you know, to have the ability to do both of those things, that they're really tough to guard. So we just talked about um, we can help you from behind, but we can't help you on the three-point line. So that was kind of our emphasis, was trying to close that gap a little bit. Um, she still got loose and, you know, hit six threes. So um, we need to, you know, make sure we're watching film and, and take a look at, at, you know, protecting that three-point line a little bit. Um, but I thought that, you know, as a group, they, they did a nice job of um, securing rebounds, which has been an emphasis for us, and, um, you know, kind of getting, getting the ball down the court and in transition as well. Coach, what do you make of the 82 points allowed? That was a, I mean, it's pretty high. Yeah. Is that game flow? Is that what do you attribute that to? Yeah, we um, typically are, are you know holding people down, and so we 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 kind of felt like we didn't want to slow it down. We knew that they wanted to run and get up and down, but that's the way that we can play as well. So we wanted to kind of um, continue with that. We thought that our defense would be able to hold them down a little bit, but you know, like you said, they they hit a bunch of shots. They shot extremely well, um, and you know, when that happens, you just have to kind of you know, bear down and, and try to get as many stops as you can. Um, it's obviously not the plan to give up 82, but as long as you score more than them, then it's okay. <laughs> After Aaliyah's last two games to have then Millie step in and have a career high, Jaleesa tied her career high tonight. Just do you kind of feel like this is what you can see any given night, any any one person could step up and be kind of your top scorer? Yeah, we um, are, like, like I said, we're really deep. We probably have six or seven that are starters um, that could rotate in there. And um, depending on the defense and, and the matchups, we do such a good job of, of figuring out, you know, what's our advantage. Um, and Jamie Loetta, especially at the, at the one, she'll find people, um, you know, these guys were mixing it up. They were playing zone, they were playing man, you know, and she did a huge job in the, especially in the fourth quarter when they kept changing defenses. She would find Millie, she would find Buck. Um, I just sent to Buckley and, and you know, to score some easy buckets. And um, so I think that it's just, you know, kind of figuring out. We talk a lot about trying to figure out your advantage. And we felt like we could um, get it inside a little bit with these guys. And, and so we did a good job of, of finding people. Billy, I know Aaliyah didn't have her best game tonight because of foul trouble and such. But what has what she meant to this team this year? She's the reigning Big Sky Player of the Week. Yeah, Aaliyah's huge to this team. Um, she's a great leader. Um, she leads on and off the court. Um, you see in the way that she plays that sh she will show up every night. Um, even though tonight she was in foul trouble when she was on the court, she makes a huge difference. Um, she's a, gr a great player. Yeah, and, great and, teammate. And Coach, I mean, you have so many players who have been in this program for a long time now, but Ali has been here for a while and through a lot. I'm just curious, what are your, 
are your thoughts on her resilience and just how she's performed this season and not just this year, but previous years? Yeah, I think Aaliyah is one that in the conference has been overlooked a little bit. Um, she is a good player at both ends. Um, I think that we have a lot of firepower offensively, and so, um, you know, she hasn't been the one that's gotten the all conference, you know, selections or nods. And, and you know, she, I don't think it, it sways her, it probably fuels her a little bit because um, she is such a good player. We can go through her um, at the end of the game. She is the same. You know, at the end, at the beginning, in the middle, she's just composed. She's calm. Um, she makes good reads, and you know, she's just a, a great player. And um, not only does she can she score, she you know can defend really good players and and try to prevent them from scoring as well. Jamie, go ahead. Sorry, guys. Yeah, what are your thoughts on kind of this Summit League challenge? You, you guys have two conference games, and then you kind of get to break it up. Is this kind of yeah. fun to see someone else, or what do you think about it? Yeah, I think it's really fun. Um, the play in um, non-conference after Christmas is not something that we've done before, <laughs> but um, yeah, this is a really fun game and to go to North Dakota on um, Friday will be really fun too. It's um, just another way to prepare us for those non-conference games, so, those conference games, sorry, so yeah, it's great. It's going to be cold there. I know. It's very cold. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, is Jamie okay? Um, she's getting checked out. We'll see, you know, what the... The staff says I think that she's okay, but she got knocked pretty hard there at the end. And what was kind of the end game? Kind of they weren't gonna defend, and then <laughs> Aaliyah makes the layup. Just what, what was kind of your vantage point on that? Well, we wanted to call a timeout in advance of it because they were pressing and trapping and and really being aggressive in the backcourt. So at the timeout prior, we said get the rebound and you know call a timeout. And I don't know. You'll have to ask them what their. Um, why they didn't come down. I've never had anybody do that. So, um, you know, when teams are pressing and trapping, we're going to advance the ball no matter, you know, if it's a 10-point game.